Oh, it's no face movement. And it's April 13, 2013, and I'm bringing breaking news. Six years, six months, six days from April the 15th, the code 666. It's very important. Um, the world elite wants to start World War III. And what we're going to try to do is try stopping them there um, with this video. And hopefully it goes out and nothing happens on April the 15th. Alright, um, I was checking CNN. Check this on CNN. It's called, should uh, they knock down whatever uh, missile North Korea fires? And definitely on Monday, April the 15th, 2013, North Korea will fire missiles. Like they always do every single year on Kim, the second son of birthday. Alright, folks. And uh, he's one of the founders of North Korea. Um, his son was King Jung Il, his grandson is King Jung Young, it's in office now. Alright. And I want people out there to know that the world elite is trying to cause World War Three like they caused World War Two and all the other wars. Alright. The economy doing bad, that's what's happening now. They cut the defense budget. They got federal emergency managers in all the cities, almost in all the cities in different parts, from being married to their school system to police. It's all over the world. And they're cushioning the economy fall. While the economy is falling, they start a war. All right, and what happens in war? Whoever wins, there's going to be a new economy. This time, there's going to be no winner in World War Three. So I want people to be prepared. All right, what they're going to do is put Russia, China, and America all the way down the long run to go against each other. And we might see a rogue nation all of a sudden come out. North Korea might be the one coming out. I'm not quite sure how it's going to go down. But all I know is that there's going to be no winners, and at the end, the UN is going to form because they already got the ten uh, sections of the world with the seven continents. All right, that's the ten kingdoms with the seven heads. The false prophet we already know is the Vatican. But um, what's crazy is that the world leader people are in it. Senator McCain says we should shoot down no matter what missiles North Korea launches on Monday. I think we should shoot down no missiles of North Korea that they launch on Monday unless we know for 100% that it's going towards Japan, Guam, our army bases, or South Korea. Most likely, they're just going to shoot off these missiles into the open ocean. All right, folks, like they do every single year. All right, but with everyone throwing, we're going to shoot it down, shoot this down. We're telling them that we're going to shoot down your missiles. So I guess they'd probably try to aim it at something so it's worth shooting a missile. Am I right or wrong, folks? All right, they're being provoked. All right, same with uh, John Kerry. Remember, he was part of Skull and Bones. All right, and he believes in the same thing. We should shoot down any missile that North Korea launches. You see what Obama's administration is made out of, the world's elite. Well, the world's elite puppets, all right, folks, that they're trying to cause World War III. Economy collapse, World War III, Russia's in place, China's in place, um, America, we're in place, South Korea's in place. Don't forget, China, Russia backs North Korea, folks, all right? And on April the 15th, 2013, six years Six months, six days ago, you will find out the truth. All right, we're about busted down. This is amazing. All right, there's always code, the code six six six, the mark of the beast, the beginning of the war. All right, this could be. Hopefully, it's not. All right, um, what this says, uh, Washington seen and North Korea missiles maneuvers has raised the question of how the United States should respond with some in Congress calling for a shoot down anything that goes up. The issue gained new urgency on Thursday with the disclosure that the Pentagon intelligence assessment suggested North Korea may have developed the ability to fire a nuclear tip missile at its foes. All right, folks, and they will too. They're in that position. The UN put sanctions on them so they can't trade with the outside world, so they're starving in their country. And the only way they think is feasible is to go to war. Well, right now, they're, they're just doing threats. It's different. When all of a sudden our senators, our secretary of state, they said whatever they launch up, we're going to shoot down. All right, That's the first uh, missile war. We shoot down one of their missiles and it's not going near no country. We just start World War III. All right, folks, and I hope the world leaders out there don't just shoot down any missile. Now, I understand they can shoot down missiles that's heading towards Japan or any of the major cities, countries in the world. All right, If it's going to hit. But if it's gonna, if they're just doing missile tests for the celebration show, they might like they do every single year. It's different. It looks like then we just did that on purpose, and we're provoking them right now as we speak. 
all right, with McCain and John Kerry saying we're going to shoot down whatever they, they launch up, even if it doesn't land. All right, that's the first <laughs> missiles of war. Let's get into this other article. Mystique's going to join us. It's called, let's scroll up real fast. North Korea states nuclear war is unavoidable as it declares first target will be Japan. They're sinking this into people's mind. We're going to nuclear war no matter what with North Korea. And people think North Korea ain't available to have nuclear weapons. Well, folks, they got a whole bunch. You see, all these trucks are all nuclear tips, they're right. We got satellites over, and we got a North Korean satellite over America right now that could produce an EMP, a nuclear warhead. And it says it's just for weather studies, but who knows? It's a lot easier to control the weather, too. And trust me, who's behind North Korea? China and Russia. All right, no matter whatever happens, North Korea's allies, China, Russia, ain't gonna allow that to happen. If we just shoot a missile that's gonna go straight out of o straight into the ocean, is that gonna hit nowhere? And we just shoot it out the sky. China and Russia are gonna be behind North Korea 100 percent, and that's how World War III will start, April the 15th, 2013. Six years, six months, six days. Here we go. Let's get into this article. I'll read some. The links are gonna be at the bottom, and then I'm gonna show you some. Hardcore proof that no one here on YouTube is about to gonna show. Let's get into this article. North Korea states nuclear war is unavoidable as it declares first target will be Japan. April 12, 2013. North Korea has warned Japan that Tokyo will be the first target in the event of a war on the Korean Peninsula as it increased threats of an attack. In a commentary carried by the Korean Central News Agency, the communist country lashed out at Tokyo's standing orders to destroy any missile heading towards Japan, threatening such actions will result in a nuclear attack against the island nation. If Japan executes its threat to shoot down any North Korean missile, such a provocative intervention would see Tokyo, an enormous conurbation of 30 million people, consumed in nuclear flames, KCNA warned. Japan is always in the crosshairs of our revolutionary army, and if Japan makes a slightest move, the spark of war will touch Japan first, the report added. An official at Japan's defense ministry said that the country will take every possible measure to respond to any scenario, while the U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry warned that a North Korean missile launch would be a huge mistake. The rhetoric that we are hearing from North Korea is simply unacceptable by any standards, he told a news conference in Seoul, alongside South Korean Foreign Minister Yoon byung se The United States, South Korea, and the entire international community are all united in the fact that North Korea will not be accepted as a nuclear power, Kerry added. Japan is always in the crosshairs of our revolutionary army. However, the North has declared it is confident of final victory against its enemies. The enemy should know that it is the era of the great Marshal Kim Jong-un, leader of the most powerful country and invincible great Pactushin nation, KCNA stated. The DPRK has won victories in confrontation with the U.S. in spirit and is waging an all-out action with it, with confidence and final victory. The torrent of war cries is seen outside Pyongyang as an effort to raise fears and pressure Seoul and Washington into changing their North Korea policies and to show the North Korean people that their young leader is strong enough to stand up to powerful foes. South Korea fears Pyongyang could launch now, launch multiple missiles after weeks of threats, according to local reports. Observers believe a launch is most likely in the build-up to Monday's anniversary of the birth of late founder Kim Il-sung, which celebrations are already well underway. All right, folks, so you see Monday, 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 April the 15th, 2013, North Korea is going to be celebrating, and they're celebrating right now, Kim Il-sung, my bad, I call him King Second Sung, <laughs> I apologize, right? King Il Sung, his birthday, and they fire missiles every single year. Well, hopefully they don't fire at any kind of country, because then, you know, we are going to blast them out. All right, but if they shoot to open and do their military drill like they do every single year, hopefully Senator Kerry and Senator McCain don't tell the president to push that button and shoot, because then it will be all-out World War Three with China and Russia. All right. 
and um, they're saying that the international community can't accept North Korea as a nuclear state. Well, folks, North Korea, I hope you guys know, is a nuclear state. All right, and it's the code 666. Like I said, it's the code 666. And you people are like, what do you mean the code 666? April the 15th, 2013. What's six years from 2013? What year was that, folks? Do we have a question? Come on, come on. The year 2007. April 15, 2007. What's six months before? April uh, the 15th, 2007. Six months before? One. Two, three, four, five, six. October 2006. All right. What's six days before October the 15th, 2006? October the 9th, 2006. All right. So the code 666. All right. You know what happened on October the 9th, 2006? Does anyone know? That's when North Korea tested its first nuclear missile and was accepted as a nuclear country to the international community. So, with this article right here, they, they're telling people that North Korea in a nuclear state, they've been a nuclear state. they got the capability of loading all their weapons with nuclear weapons. There will be a nuclear war. If we shoot a missile they ain't meant for no country that's going out to ocean, just for them to test it like they always do. All right, folks, if we shoot down their missile first, then we just engage in war. Like I said, China, Russia is behind them, and this is what the world elite wants. They, the world elite wants World War III, so there will be no winner, be a nuclear war, and then they come in, depopulation, all that stuff is going to be underneath a one world order with ten uh, regions and seven continents. And here we go, here's the proof, the links are going to be at the bottom. So as we scroll down, six years, six months, six days before April the 15th, 2013, the day of the celebration, the day that they fear that he's going to be launching missile. Here's the proof that they were considered a nuclear state on this day, 666. October the 9th, 2006, Monday. All right, let's go down. Do, 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 do. Let's read it. So six years ago, year 2007, April the 15th. Six months before April the 15th, 2007 was October 2006. Six days before the 15th was the 19th. Let's get into it. The code is 666 and the day that they were known as a nuclear state. South Korean band Kai Moon is nominated to succeed Kofi Annan as the United Nations Secretary General in an affirmation vote by the Security Council. A confirmation vote by the General Assembly is expected within the next fortnight. 2006 North Korean nuclear testing. The Korean Central News Agency of North Korea reports that the nation has tested its first nuclear weapon in an underground facility at Gilju in North Hamyong province. This report was at least somewhat confirmed by a seismic event that was measured around the world. The United States Geological Survey says it detected an earthquake of 4.2 in North Korea suspected to be caused by the effects of the underground blast. China expresses its resolute opposition to what it described as North Korea's brazen nuclear test. And that's the day, folks. That's the day North Korea launched its first nuclear missile. Six years, six months, six days from April the 15, 2013. And trust me, this is a young leader. If we shoot down one of his missiles that it's not meant for anyone, um, there's going to be war. And China and Russia is going to be behind it. Just like China says, braze. They're brazen. All right, folks. So there's a lot of stuff going on. This is the No Face Moon. Please be prepared. And bug out in your home and your place of business and your car. You never know when a national disaster or catastrophic event could happen. Please be prepared. We're on the brinks of World War Three, six, six, six. Please follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Blogspot, Critter Box, Guy Like Production. Also follow me on Mystiques and Astrology and Astronomy channel. It's on my backup channel. You ain't gonna see this in nowhere else. All right, folks. I'm warning you, folks. Uh, we're, we're on the brinks of World War Three. The code six, six, six. Remember that. This is the movement. Moving, moving to next time. Facing off. All links will be at the bottom. Peace.